we're back in my 2021 Nissan Pro 4X. Just want to shoot a real quick video, give you an update of what happened after my GPS failed. I tried a bunch of reset, looked for ways to reset the system online. You know, I try to hold the uh, power button here, and then it goes through a reset cycle. Uh, that didn't help. And then um, I didn't want to like disconnect the negative terminal or battery or anything else because I um, didn't want to lose all my settings. And so I called the dealer, told them what the problem is. They said, bring it in. And uh, they took it in. Uh, they had it for a few days. They thought that they were going to um, have to rip the whole car apart. And maybe it was a uh, GPS antenna itself. That was a problem. So they uh, called Nissan, opened up a tech case. Uh, Nissan had them go through a few uh, steps. One of them actually was uh, pull the, the whole nav unit out, connect a, uh, a spare GPS antenna, you know, not have to wire it to the truck or anything, right? But uh, just connect it to the unit in the back, power it up, see if that fixed anything. That didn't fix anything. So eventually uh, Nissan has agreed to replace the entire nav unit. And um, the dealer put that on order. They couldn't give me an ETA initially. I let them hold on to the truck for an additional few days. And then uh, they said that um, there's no ETA. They don't know when they're going to get the head unit. So I asked them to put everything back together. I took the truck back and uh, just, you know, had it for maybe a week or two. And then they uh, had the GPS unit arrived at the dealer. Brought the truck back into them. It took them two days to install it for whatever reason. Uh, but this is, you're looking at the new uh, GPS unit for the truck. Uh, the truck has 941 miles on it. So less than a thousand miles from new uh, when this failure occurred and when this uh, GPS system was replaced. Um, so that's, that's what it says on the work order. Mileage in and out is 941 miles. So, um, you know, they took care of me. They, they replaced it all under warranty, no expense. It's just a pain, obviously, to go to a dealer multiple times, drop the truck off, have it uh, tear it apart. Uh, but it looks like they did a decent job putting it together. All the basils are clean. I don't see any scratches. I don't see any evidence of them actually, uh, you know, working on a truck, which is exactly how, how you'd want it. And I'll just read you from the work order here. I'm not going to put up on screen, but I'll, I'll read you from the work order what they said. There, there's a couple private uh, information items on here, so I, I didn't want to change that. But uh, it says, uh, customer states that the GPS location is not accurate. Clock is also off. And uh, then the cause, they said, is AV unit internal failure. LLN light line slash electrical Nissan. They some give some kind of numbers i don't know what these are control assembly um okay so that's the part number for the actual gps unit and then they said the av unit internal failure uh i guess they charge 1.9 hours it says 1.9 i don't know what that is um or maybe that's the uh, firmware version <laughs> it's hard to tell from here but uh per previous diagnosis removed and replaced the av control unit followed all steps lined out in TSB NTB 20-042C. So there's, a, I guess, a service bolt attached to this, which that's the part I was surprised about. Again, that number is November Tango Bravo 20-042 Charlie. Uh, clock now reads correctly and GPS reads correctly. Okay, at this time... Uh, SX satellite radio code. Okay, so that they had to give me a new code for the radio, obviously, because it's a new head unit. And then they put the sticker with that new radio code into the uh, customer's Nissan Connect owner's manual. So that's what happened. 940 miles on the truck, and uh, everything's working fine. Again, uh, you know, the everything was working fine with the exception of tracking. Um, the actual position and uh, the clock was off because it wasn't receiving the date and time information from uh, GPS satellites. Now we're all good. It was a you know maybe a three week or a month ordeal, but um, no big deal. Everything else was functioning, so I just drove around, uh, used my phone and Apple CarPlay as the uh, GPS source. So 
all's well when that ends well i guess and that's the end of that saga so i appreciate uh you guys sticking with me i'm gonna make a, a bunch of new videos here uh here let me show you what came in look at all these big boxes so we got these three here and that box over there so that guy right there is a bed extender the sliding bed extender uh, it comes in a Lego set, so you got to put it uh, together yourself. These are all OEM parts. Uh, this box right here is the hood deflector, you know, bug deflector, whatever you want to call it. And then these two big boys right here in the bottom, one and two, those are the uh, Nissan, uh, the rugged, I think is what they're called, um, running boards. So these are the uh, OEM running boards that typically go on to the Nissan Pro 4X. So I'm going to be installing all these accessories and uh, putting together that guy. So videos are coming up on that. All right, guys, take care, be well, and see you next time.